Hey guys, Vex here, and on this episode of Vex's Test World, I will be experimenting with causing a silverfish apocalypse. Now, a lot of times on my Test World videos, I already know what's going to happen, I have it planned out. This, um, I figured I'd change things up a bit, and I would just film me testing from the beginning, and let's see what happens. I'm not really sure. Okay, my first test is a hyperspawner with uh, silverfish eggs and poison and damage potions. Now I know, and do I have it on normal? Yeah, okay, so we should get a spider spawning in there and setting it off. Keyword should. Come on. You're not going to cooperate, are you? Uh, just because I'm recording. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, did I load the... Oh, I'm an it. Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> I forgot to load it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> One second. And see, this is why I usually have things um, pre-planned and ready, and I know what's going to happen. Uh, I thought I had that loaded. I guess I didn't. Yeah, we'll need silverfish, and we will need some instant damage here, and we will need uh, poison. Yeah, there we go, poison. Okay, so, yeah, I loaded the poison. So let's throw the poison in there. Let's throw the damage in there. Uh, I want more damage than poison. And then let's put in the silverfish. And, yeah, 32 should be, that should be plenty for now. Okay, uh, take two, let's try this again. So I'll put it on normal, and I'll get close, and the proximity detector should go off. Yeah, there they go, okay. So here comes several waves of silverfish out of the hyperspawner. And it looks like the damage potions and poison do not count for angering the silverfish, and that is slightly loud, so let's do that. Um, I know if I hit them myself with like this, that causes more silverfish to come out. So it looks like my plan of causing a, an apocalypse just using a hyperspawner is not going to work. Uh, but that's okay, because if you notice on my bar, I've got several other things I want to test out, and I know snowmen will work. So let's just show off snowmen. Unless they, well, unless they changed it for the patch, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there he goes. He's throwing snowballs. That counts as, uh, I guess, I guess a hit for my player faction, whereas the damage potions out of the dispensers are not tied to me as the player. So yeah, he's just going to throw snowballs, and uh, he's actually dying pretty quickly, too. I, th I think they might actually be hitting him. So, okay, I can spawn them that way. Now, what else are we going to test? Let's see. Let's test... Wait a minute. Art? No! There we go. He, he actually... Uh... Oh, I know what happened. The blocks that I was covering the hyperspawner with actually um, got infested and then broken by silverfish. That's kind of funny. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no. Cooperate. All right, so now I need to spawn a dog and then tame him. Come on. All right, do you automatically attack silverfish? You do not. Now, if they hurt me, will you attack them? I need to get hurt by silverfish. Let me jump in a hole real quick here. Come on, hurt me. There we go. All right, there goes the dog. Now he's, yeah, now he's fighting silverfish. I need more dogs here. All right, how many dogs do I have on my side? You're tamed, you're tamed. And get some more daylight here. Are you tamed? Yeah, you are. Okay, so I've got a small army of dogs. Are you tamed? There he goes. Now I just need to get hit by silverfish. Come on, hit me. Hit me. 
There we go. All right, dogs, get them. Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't seem reliable at all. I think my best bet is still going to be snowmen based for causing an apocalypse. Uh, maybe like a room of snowmen in... Uh, and thanks to thanks to uh, Seth Bling for the awesome biome filter for MC Edit, I can make like a tiny room be in a uh, Arctic biome, and uh, I think the snowmen will last forever in there. And then I was thinking I could hide the snowmen with pistons, and then have like a room. I don't even know if I need a hyper spawner for this. I just need a, a silverfish spawner hidden away in a room, and. Uh, have a the pistons that hide the snowmen rigged up to a player sensor and then when the player gets near unleash the snowmen into the hidden room with the silverfish to have them fight and then that'll cause the apocalypse but um so wolves are useless and Now, I do know that the fastest way to cause an apocalypse, if you just are the player, is uh, damage potions like this. This is going to take off exponentially as more and more of them spawn and become hit. And this could actually start lagging my computer, especially while running fraps at the same time. I'm not sure how the recording will hold up if I spawn a ton of these. Oh yeah, I can see my frame rate. It's already dipping to like 20s. So, hmm. The reason I'm testing this is I'm working on uh, some maps right now and I have an idea for mm, basically what it is is like a uh, underground ruins, but it's encased in lava, so if you break through the ceiling or floor, there's going to be lava. And the building material of this area will be silverfish. And so I was thinking at the final area, maybe you could have uh, a triggering device for silverfish and have the ruins start breaking apart around you, and then lava starts pouring in. And this is this will only be after you get to like the end and the fleecy box, so you grab the wool and then the, the whole place starts falling apart and lava starts pouring in and then you've got to run out really fast before it collapses because of the uh, silverfish spawning. Um, so if I make a device like that I will probably make a video about it and if you or if you'd be interested just let me know in the comments. Hmm. Yeah so this is a this is a test world video where I, I didn't have a plan from the very start um, just experimenting on stuff I figured you know, some people might be interested to see it. So potions out of dispensers don't work. I'm willing to bet snowballs out of dispensers. Do those work? Well, you know what? I've already come this far. I might, hold on a second, let me get some peace and quiet here. I've already come this far. I may as well test. I've got dispensers in six, don't I? I don't? I have this as my like redstone kit and I don't have dispensers in there. Amazing. I, I'm surprised. How did I... I guess I've been manually finding them. Where are they? Uh, wait, I think I passed it. Yeah, dispenser. Hold on a sec. Close, save. Okay. There we go. Now I've got dispensers in there. Let me load up some snowballs, and I will test that really quick, because I just realized that I don't know... I should test arrows, too, while I'm at it. Let me get, like, arrows... Okay. And I'll just use a pressure plate, I guess, and keep it simple. Arrows in this one. And uh, let's put snowballs in this one. And let's see if we can cause an apocalypse this way. So I just need to hit arrows, snowballs.
Okay, so arrows fired out of a, out of a uh, dispenser will trigger them. Now let's try snowballs. Stay in the front. Nah, just reset. I'll make it daytime again. Yep, I think I just saw it right there. Let me let me test and make sure. Let me get a big crowd of them over here. Oh yeah, snowballs. Out, okay, so snowballs and arrows out of a dispenser. Oh, that means uh, I was thinking the wrong thing here. What I need to do is load up. Get rid of those. Those don't work. Um, put in silver fish. Fish, fish. And I guess I just need. Um, let me think. Snowballs. I'm thinking snowballs because snowballs are. Let me let me get a hack stack. There we go. And snowballs, fish, snowballs, and fish. Yeah, fish and snowballs. And that one probably needs to be left as silverfish. In fact, I'm going to leave these two guaranteed to be silverfish to keep the hyperspawner functioning. And then I'm going to need to cover this up too, aren't I? Let me put this to easy and then cover back up the hyperspawner. Let me let cave spiders trigger it. <clears throat> No, don't chase me. Hit the pressure plate. Oh, there we go. Mm, it doesn't seem to... Oh, wait a minute. Are the silverfish actually uh, destroying the hyperspawner by infesting it and then breaking the blocks? That could be happening. Yeah, I think that might be happening. Yep. Oh, that's like, okay, so I need, I just need to make the uh, hyper spawner then out of blocks that they will not infest. Like snow. Um, can we get a snow? That'd be kind of funny. So I could definitely rig up a, you know, this actually might work better with my original design. Uh, the, the toggle clock hooked up to a proximity sensor and just have a bunch of dispensers, not necessarily this format, and have them all firing just snowballs and fish all over the place in a uh, in a sealed off room, like encased in bedrock, just so the player won't see it, and then cause the silverfish apocalypse that way. Yeah, I think that's what I'll probably end up going with. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. The uh, hyper spawner is totally ruined. They infested the blocks and then broke out of the blocks to end up destroying them. It's kind of funny. Um, so I think, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything I want to test while I'm here. Um, no, nope, we've discovered, okay, so potions. My hope was that, that the uh, Ideally, what I was hoping for is the poison potions out of a dispenser would trigger every time they took a tick of poison damage. They would That would count as them being hit. And so a single poison potion thrown into a group of silverfish would count as, you know, add up to hundreds of hits and cause an apocalypse that way. Um, so, yeah. That's what I was hoping for, but it looks like I'll end up using probably snowballs, because that way, because arrows would kill them, but snowballs won't kill them ever. So I can just end up with a bunch of them and do it that way. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's definitely what I'll go with. Okay, well, I can't think of anything to test right now, but uh, I think when I if I make a design like that, 
I'll probably make a video and just show it off. Or I could just, you know, you guys could wait and see it when it's in the map and it kills you. And then you fall in lava and die and lose all your, <laughs> lose all your items. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, well, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and helping me, uh, helping me test. It's kind of like just looking over my shoulder while I test stuff. And uh, so until next time, uh, take it easy, guys.